What is up, internets? I am Taylor. Welcome back to my channel. This is my weekly sort of trade paperback review, although I'm not reading a trade paperback this week, and I'm not reviewing one, and whatever. This is my review of You're All Just Jealous of My Jetpack by Tom Gold. Um, this is not your typical thing that I review. It's strips, uh, comic strips instead of a continuous narrative. And uh, I think these originally appeared in The Guardian, uh, and, uh, yeah, it's all by Tom Gold. And, Tom, I am jealous of your jetpack, damn it. Very jealous. I want a jetpack. Um, I needed a palate cleanser. You know, I needed I needed to read something that wasn't a long narrative and something I could just pick up and set down and, like, read a few things and, uh, you know, read a few pages and be amused or bemused or kind of confused or any other used out there. And put it back down, and so that's that's what this is good for. It's a, you know, it's like each half is a one day or one week's panels. I'm not sure if they were daily or weekly, uh, but yeah, it's a, you know, it's nice to sometimes just do something a little bit out of the box. And <laughs> Tom's humor, these are it's a humorous daily, uh, you know, and so you know, a lot of folks gravitate towards like. Uh, the Far Side, or you know, the greatest of all time, the Calvin and Hobbes, uh, Bill Watterson. This is, a, you know, another example. I don't think it as anywhere near widely circulated either of those two, but were back in the heyday. But you know, Tom, it, uh, Tom Gold is a funny man, <laughs> and uh, and uh, a lot of literary humor, a lot of dry, wry, uh, a lot of classical humor. Uh, so, like, if you don't understand, if you don't, if you're not up on your classic literature. You're not going to get a lot of the jokes. Like, there's a lot of the Bronte sisters jokes. Uh, I've never read anything by the Bronte sisters. So, I don't know how it relates to Super Mario Brothers. But, you know, there's, there's juxtapositions like that. There's visual jokes. There's, uh, you know, architecture jokes. There's t film and television jokes. Uh, he makes fun of Dan Brown, the author, and at least three or four things in here, which is great because... That Dan Brown's a hack. I take it back. He's a published author, and everyone that's published makes great things, and we have to respect them all. And yeah, Newton got hit on the head by the apple, and so that's how to solve this whole stupid Da Vinci Code book. Anyways, um, I really enjoyed this book. Uh, there, it's and I like Tom's art style. It's very simple and very sparse, but it's just kind of effective from a storytelling perspective and he and, you know don't get it twisted even though some of this is just three panels and, and sometimes in those three in those three panels he's telling a story and so I, I, there's a special art and a special genius to something like that like I, I there's it, it's a whole different ball game than writing a long narrative you know like multi-issue things or even a single issue comic it's it's a different beast than cranking out and, and I'm sure it is a grind, uh, these daily strips or these weekly or whatever, you know, and then just having to try to be funny every day. And, like, I, I would imagine he's got a, a plethora of, like, notes and scribbles and ideas jotted down ready to sort of go and make things and, and create in advance. But, uh, yeah, overall, I really, really enjoy this. Uh, it, it's from Drawn and Quarterly. It's not a super thing. Like, I don't know if it's still in print. I've had it for a couple of years. And you're not getting it. I'm not giving it away. Uh I kind of just dug this back out, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to reread re it. And for the most part, it holds up pretty well. There's some technology jokes that are a little bit dated uh, with mode, you know, like, the, the, and the types of computer screens and, like, projections and stuff. I think this came out in 2013, 2014, so there's not a lot of, like, social media humor in here. It's a bit, but it's definitely dated. Uh, but, you know, there's retro sci-fi stuff, hence the title. It's, it's lifted from one of the strips that you're all just jealous of my jetpack jet because... Uh, it, it's a lot of uh, that, I think that particular strip involves classic literature making fun of science fiction and science fiction we're having none of it because science fiction is literature just like comics is literature comics are literature words are hard words is hard doesn't matter yeah this is a quick little review uh, it's a quick little book really um, but I, I do I, I use it as like, a, like, like I said a palate cleanser or just a little bit of like relaxing uh, beginning of the day or end of the day kind of things I'll read a few I'll put it back down and I'll pick it back up. I'll read a few more. And you know, you don't have to read it. You don't nothing. Nothing in this has to be done chronologically. There's no recurring characters that you're gonna lose sight of and stuff. It's just kind of a nice way to do a little very brief thing. And and sometimes I think more folks need that in their day. So 
Yeah. You folks, I'm sure, would be jealous of my jetpack if I had a jetpack. But I don't. But you're all just jealous of my book. You're all just jealous of my jetpack. I think you can, I, I, I don't know if it's still in print, so you might be jealous for a long time. And I'm sure you can find it on the Ebays or whatever. Uh, and, and I think Tom has uh, also created some kids' books and whatever, so maybe you want to hunt those down. Uh, and I, I think his website is just tomgauld.com, T-O-M-G-A-U-L-D.com, I believe. And uh, check it out. Uh, his illustration style is not going to be for everyone. His humor is not going to be for everyone, but what is humor for everyone? The, the, the cable guy or what's-his-face carrot top? Or, I don't know, Doonesbury? No, that's not true. What's the... I don't know. There's some. I, I haven't read any daily daily comic strips in a while, <laughs> and I know most of what I just said is not a daily comic strip. But uh, there was a lot of really bad ones out there. That said, I, I mean, I do like even the bad ones. I have a respect for. Like it takes some serious work ethic and some serious effort to try and clay, you know crank out eight thousand strips of Blondie or Dagwood or uh, whatever the heck they're you know even like Calvin, there's a reason like Calvin and Hobbes burnt the guy Bill Waters kind of disappeared. After he'd, he'd done his magnum opus, you know, it like, I don't think it's sustainable forever. <laughs> I think it's, uh, unless you're like uh, Charles Schultz and Peanuts, which went on for ages, and that's still a masterpiece. It, it, this is something that, like, I mean, I, I don't be wrong, I, I respect for any creator. But the, the, for these daily strip guys, or the, you know, these comic strip guys, they hold a special place in my heart. Just because, like, you know, I used to read them as a kid. And, and like, fine, this is more of a grown up's version of reading it as a kid. So. That's all I've got today, folks. Uh, you know, even if you have a jetpack, don't be a dick about it.